Does he know yet? Oh, yeah. What does he say? I just told him that I filed for divorce because he was a big liar. What did he lie about? Uh, he lied about everything. <laughs> everything he lied. For example, he told me that he was a nurse. Yeah. And that he had passed his boards on the first time. Yeah. Did he? Um, did he never he... worked as a nurse. So did he actually graduate nursing school? I don't think so, because he fell out. And I think that's why he didn't get the job at the fed head. At the what? The federal prison. What kind of job was that? Like a nurse. Oh, he tried to get a job there? Yeah, he, he got the job with the interview, but then they wrote him back and told him that they disqualified him or something. So he was trying to get a job as a nurse, even though he didn't get his didn't pass his board. Like it was like a nurse aide or something. But still, was it a lot of money or something? Uh, like this, yeah, the benefits are good over there. Huh? The benefits are really good over there. Oh, wasn't it like a seven uh, step interview process? Oh yeah, it was a big interview process, and he got the job. And once they did the background check and stuff, they disqualified him. That's weird. Mm -hmm. So are he you? Just lied, he just lied about a lot of stuff. Is, uh, so he's not. Yeah. Is he not working at Cox Monet anymore? No, he's at Ampac. He works at Ampac. Yeah. He works at Ampac. Hey, what, what did Shane do there? Was he an investigator? That's like some kind of investigator, like a fraud investigator. Oh, for, like, insurance stuff? Yeah. Oh, when did he start working there? Last week. Well, where, so you're going to live in Cassville now? I'm living here right now. Are, are you going to, so all your stuff's there, and you're just going to live there forever now? Not forever. I'm trying to find a job so I can move out. What about your guys' house? stay there. Isn't it, like, expensive? Yeah. Uh, his parents will have them. Oh. His, his parents helped him with everything. He's such a mama's boy. And he just, he's got issues. I'm telling you, he's got, oh, uh, I talked to his ex-girlfriend. Yeah, what'd she ex say? What'd she say? She said that he's a pathological liar and that all this, she told me, like, a bunch of stuff. We talked on the phone for, like, an hour. What did they break up for? Because he's a liar, and then because, um, he was, like, charging a bunch of stuff on the credit card. Like, he would go out and spend $3,000 to get the shed. And then he would spend 1000 to get new tires, and just all the stuff kept adding up. And he would just call her and say, hey, I just bought this. And, like, would tell her. And she said that she was working, like, 70, 80 hours a week to keep up with Build. Oh, I thought and that he it, said he never wanted to work. Does he? She said that um, he told his parents that she cheated on him, but she said she never did. Really? He also told his parents that she threw a big pool party at, at his parents' house, and she never did that. Really? Um, but it was like he was trying to turn his parents against her. Does he still have, does he, doesn't he have student loans and stuff? Yeah, but that's mainly for, like, the criminology degree. Oh, huh. Like a police degree. So, how much does a divorce attorney cost? Well, I'm just making payments. I don't know yet. Are you getting an attorney in Seattle, or? Yeah. Like, money or something? Or something? What do they say? I don't even know what a, a divorce attorney does. Like, what is it? What is it supposed to do? Um, you have to make a parenting plan, and I don't really know. I just went to the first visitation thing. What does 
mom and mom and dad say about this? Do they do they like Matt? They started to not like Matt either. So they don't care that you're getting divorced? Um, I mean it's hard, but they want me to be happy and they said I'm welcome here until I can get on my feet. I've applied for like a ton of jobs already, so Where at? In California? Um, no, like it's so I applied for the Walmart corporate office. And then, um, some jobs in Springfield, Jack Henry, stuff like that. Huh. <laughs> so, uh, that's crazy. Uh, what, uh, so does Matt not care? Like, is he just, like, okay with it? No, he's upset. Is he, like, trying to get you to stay with him? Uh huh. He still did today, because I had to work. Yeah. And he was crying. Like when I was like big birdie up. What did he say? And he misses me and he doesn't blame me for me leaving and all this stuff. So whenever he got divorced from his first wife, did he do the same thing? Yeah, she said he begged her back. But wasn't he the one that filed for divorce with her? No. Really? I thought it I thought it was. She said she just packed her things up and left. Huh, that's crazy. Did he tell her that he hated kids and that he didn't want ever want kids because they were dirty and messy. Is that true? <laughs> he is kind of a I don't know. He is kind of a neat freak. Does how does him and Brody get along? Do they get along good? Yeah. Yeah, Brody hasn't really wanted to talk to him on FaceTime, and he, he just acts very reserved. Like, tonight when I went to get him, he, was, he didn't talk much. Matt or... He kind of quiet. Matt? Or... No, Brody was. Oh. It was probably because he knows that he... I don't know, he's kind of struggling, too. His temper's been a little bit bad lately. Huh. Do you wish now you wouldn't have got married and had a kid? I wouldn't trade anything for, I wouldn't trade Bertie for anything, but I wish I would have never got married to Matt. Yeah. And I, I, I won't ever get married again because it's dumb. It's a legal document, and then you have to pay a bunch of money if you just don't want to be with that person. Mm. So, yes. yeah, but I'm, I'm going to get a good job, and I'm going to get back on my feet. So you're I'm still hoping, working at Kids Club? I'm I can get Matt to take the car. What, what would he do with, what would he, does he have a truck too, though? Yeah, he's got a truck, but his name's on the Mercedes. Huh. Well, he'll probably have to sell it, huh? Something. That's, yeah, that sounds like he, he does like to spend money. What about all your furniture and stuff? Isn't that both of you guys's? What did he say? He said, we'll just have to see. That's just something you have to take care of with the lawyer. Do you, you, but you guys have, like, two sets of couches, though, right? And, like, two beds yeah. and stuff. So yeah, you just got a brand new set. So they'll probably make you split it. Who's going to get I the new know one? Is it all? Is it all on the credit card, though? Uh, part of it was. Like, the furniture? Yeah. Huh. That's nuts. I I didn't. Whenever you said the uh, a while back ago that you were gonna divorce or wanted to divorce him or whatever, that's just crazy. I didn't. That's why me and Jason don't bother getting married because we're pretty much married. Huh. I wasn't like I wasn't physically attracted to him. 
What about whenever you, what about when you guys first met, or whatever? Did For like, a couple weeks, we wouldn't really like each other, but then I got pregnant. And then after that, and, you... And then after that, I found out he lied about that Kayla girl, because he said she never lived there, and that she never, uh, slept in that bed, and all this stuff, and... But she did? She, yeah, she did. Is she married now? Yeah. Huh. So if he tries to talk you into staying with him, are you gonna? No. Is Bird? His dad was driving me. Why? How? He, he was saying that he would buy me all this stuff and pay off my car, help me get my car paid off. And... His dad was saying that? Yeah. And then once I told him I wanted to come back, his dad turned, and turned around and he's like, well, maybe I'll get you served first. Just being a real prick. Did his parents talk to, did you talk to his parents a lot since they lived like right down the road? Well, like I said, I felt like I was married to him and his parents. Huh. Hmm. Well, that's what I said. So was, yeah, what his mom and dad, they, they don't care about well, him? Well, his, I didn't, his mom never really said much, but his dad's just mad because he's worried about him getting his grandparent right. Getting his grandparents what? Grandparent right. Oh, they think that they're not gonna get to see Brody. Yeah. Well, that's kind of dumb. That well, that wouldn't happen. I mean, I I don't have to learn that to him, but I want to see him tonight, and I'm driving up there tomorrow to um let them see Brody. So Brody's with you right now. He's sleeping. Oh. What's what's new with him? So are you so you're looking for a job like in like uh retail type stuff or what? No, just anything. Yeah, I was kinda of wondering whenever you guys said you weren't coming or you weren't gonna be up here or mom and dad weren't gonna be up here. Yeah. So what do you guys you are coming back tomorrow though with Brody? Yeah, I'm gonna drop him off at like one and then I'll just hang out. Is mom gonna be with you? No. Hmm. She's not there? No, they're staying down here. Oh. Is she working anywhere? Well, I'm keeping it secret actually. Why? Just because. I don't want it to get ruined. Is that mom? Huh? Is that mom in the background? No, I'm in the bedroom. Oh. My phone's 